Francis, we're coming to the end of an era of macaroni and cheese. We got three left, just three, that's it, then we're done. We're gonna leave the UK forever, we're gonna have to unlearn the accent, it's gonna be very painful. Um, we're gonna try them out today on Box Mac. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> I think there's that Nina coming in, because if it is, then... Uh... Oh, Nina, oh, Nina! Oh, no, it's my father. Oh. You sold me in a powdered wig. Three Max. We've got Marshalls, and this is the non-ham version. I think this might be really good. This one, which is, uh, a, it's, what is, how do you pronounce it? Coquina. Coquina. Co Cheesy macaroni. Methamphetamina. This is the, the actual one you can find anywhere in the UK. Cheesy pasta. Am I correct that they haven't actually been calling this mac and cheese all along? They've been calling it... Cheesy pasta. This one is actually distributed by a company that used to be Kraft. It's Mondelez, which um, has a, a long relationship with Kraft. And they've made uh, the Australian ones. This has no branding at all on it. It's very generically branded. I think it's gonna taste a lot like a Kraft macaroni and cheese, but I don't think it's gonna be anything like it. I wonder if they have Kraft, regular Kraft mac and cheese at all in the UK. I don't know. They can't just show a picture of mac and cheese on the back. It's gotta have diced freaking ham. Yeah, well, though, I think, is it ham? There's diced ham and there's peas. No, it's a simple tuna macaroni. Oh, that's tuna? That's not... Cube tuna. I should read. Cubed tuna. Cube tuna. Should we use the blue or the orange? Uh... The decision's made. Little tiny noodles. Very, very craft. Those are basically rice. This is uh, Marshall's. Same good pasta. If we were to do a mix and match Mac, I would elect the Marshall's pasta. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. Small noodles. Not quite as small as the other ones in the cheesy pasta, but... Tell me more about this place you call the UK. Well, it's, it's jolly good. The land of, um, sausages. What comes from the UK? Let, let's figure this out. <laughs> Colonialism in general. Yeah. Imperialism. The sun never sets That's on the right, British Empire. around the world. Someone's always taking a dump in the British Empire, I think was the... Nina, what's from the, what's from the UK? Come in here. Come join us for a moment, Nina. We need a consultation. You already talked about are you being served? What about bangers and mash? Bangers and mash, that's right. What about um, a fry-up breakfast where they make all that disgusting... We should have had Nina on from the start. She knows all about the UK. The Thames. Tam, the, the, the river. The Tower of London. Oh, the Tower of London. The English Channel. The English Channel. Big Ben, even. Well, we're not Actually, commenting on them. We're just naming we're just them. naming them. Old mums. Old mums. They talked Ooh. a little bit about the Queen. They didn't really talk about all the other weird ones. Prince Andrew. Kate was... Middleton. Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. And her ass. <laughs> well, her no, sister's ass. Oh, her sister's ass. An important event has come to pass. My salt is empty. It is time. Light applause, please. Light applause. Funeral bagpipes. John has run out of salt. Oh. No, excuse me. Pardon me. I have to. I have to. Um... Actually, dispose of it. Yeah. Okay. What's the British thing to do? I wear a big hat <laughs> and shed one tear. Well, I got new salts, so it's okay. When God closes a door somewhere, he opens a window. <laughs> we haven't talked about all the, the British terms, like hob, we covered that one. Right. But what about till instead of like register? Yeah, that's what I was saying, like like lorry. And, yeah. And jumper instead of sweater. Yeah. Put it in the boot instead of the trunk. Mm -hmm. Hoover the rug instead of vacuum it. What about how much more Indian food they have? Yeah. Like, like, like... Well, uh, you know, I was talking to a British friend of mine and they were saying, they were, they were shocked that we can't just go down the road and get a curry, a fast food curry. Is there a curry mac? <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Nina, you're dismissed. All right, thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Did you get that noodle? That poor noodle? Notice that not one of these UK Macs has healthy style prep. No. Not one. Although all of them use full butter. That noodle is the size of a tangerine. A long time ago, I was in Burma. We were looking for British Macs. One of the locals picked up one of the noodles from the UK. And it was the size of a tangerine. Some gents just want to watch the noodle burn. With a thankful heart, with an English joy, I will I'll bid you welcome, welcome every girl, girl and boy will be nephew and he's to me. Nephew and he's to me. me. Well, they love, hope, and peace to me. Love, hope, and peace to me. And with every day will end, and every day will start with a beat of joy. Thank you, Lord. All right, the rapid's done. I got some feedback. I think it was m me. I didn't seem quite as excited about mac and cheese as I normally do. Your, your excitement's waning, Pat. <laughs> They're like, it was a little flat, you know? You were saying things like, I'm sure it will just taste like mac and cheese. <laughs> Look, if you go back to the first episode, I was never super pumped about every noodle. Looks pretty good. The noodle's cooked up all right. We've got this footage, don't we, somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, there's what? nothing more UK than the Spice Girls. Give me a little bit of telling what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> 
So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, ah, uh, want to, ah, uh, want to, ah, uh, want to, ah. Uh. Really, 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 really want to dig a dig If you want to be my lover. you got to get with my friends. <laughs> this is going to be the new Star Wars kid, isn't it? Fat Mac and Cheese Man with wig sings Spice Girls. How's that looking? Uh, you know, it looks like mac and cheese. I get in trouble for saying stuff like that. It looks great. You know, I'm really interested in what it's... I'm getting that same kind of weird smell again. Is it just me? Is it the smell of ham? It smells like alcohol. Alcohol? Yeah. That's just EJ. The UK is a lot like America. Their Sachet Macs suck and everything else is okay. Very small noodles, still very small. Could be good though. If Marshalls fails to impress us in the cheese department again, yeah. we'll know definitively, I think. Both of these are a little thin. By the way. That's right. This is the, the coquina one. Coquina, yeah. Tangy cheese. It tastes okay. a lot like that very first one we had. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I need it. That's something that uh, the mom of your friend who you shouldn't be hanging out with would give you. This is the Marshalls. Best pasta we already know. But the cheese. That's the question. It all hangs on this. The cheese cake. It's okay. It's bland. It really is. And it's watery. It's thin. You're mostly just eating their pasta. It's not bad. The pasta is, is making up for it. Mm -hmm. Finally, cheesy pasta from cheesy the Mondelez pasta. Corporation. We're going to sort of end with the most generic UK thing you can get. They're sticking together an awful lot and they're very thin. Very bland. Ray, which one's the best? I think I'm, I'm, I'm going with this one. They can never seem to muster it when it comes to cheese. Yeah. I'm going to go with Marshall's. Mick Mac from the very first show yeah. was probably the best. Yeah. But uh, you know, Marshall's with its good pastas. If you've got a great pasta and a mediocre cheese sauce, yeah. you can win me over. Think about how much Heb, Wegmans, and Three Cheese blows these away. Oh, I know. E anyway, it's way better than Australia, Max. I I'm very pleased overall. Thanks again, uh, Matthew Toothman, for sending me into Lancashire. We'll we'll have another show next week, I guess. Yeah, I think that that'll happen. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Bye. Bye. Now that we've sufficiently toured the UK, go back and watch the first two parts. And while you're on the internet, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe here at Red Cow Entertainment.